Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Do you ever have to draw something on a cake and you think, this would be so much easier if I could just trace it? Well, you can, and I'm going to show you how. It's called a reverse transfer. I cut this bird out of fabric to trace. If you need to change the size of your image to fit your cake, you can take a picture of it and change the size on your computer and print it out. Or you can just trace it right off your computer screen. First tape down your image and then you're going to tape down a piece of acetate. Acetate is a common bakery item you can buy on Amazon. Just make sure you get the right size so you can cover your entire image. The first piece of acetate that I taped down is just to protect the image and then the second piece of acetate is where I'm actually going to do my piping. You're going to want to place it curl side up. You want it to be curling up toward you. The reason for this is if you're putting your image on your side of your cake, you don't want to fight your image to be able to wrap around your round cake. All right, let's start piping. Let's do this. When I first learned how to do a reverse transfer, my brain, like, it was on fire. It, like, hurt. It just is not what we're used to doing when we draw. It's like when you're painting, for example, you draw the background first, and then you draw things on top of it. So, for example, you draw sky, and then you draw the clouds on top of the sky, and then you draw the birds on top of that. When you pipe a reverse transfer, you're actually going to do this opposite. You're going to draw the first layer first and then pipe the background last. Okay, so half of you probably get this already, but the other half, if you're like me, are like, huh? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So imagine that you are behind a piece of glass and you are painting on the glass and your audience is on the other side. They're going to see your painting. You're like behind your painting, painting it. All you really have to do is ask yourself this when you're piping. Is there anything in front of this? So the first thing you're going to pipe are the things that there's nothing else in front of it. I'm going to show you the back side of the acetate soon. So when you see it, it'll make sense. Okay, so the first layer is the orange on the head, the light blue on the head, the turquoise wing, and the black head and uh, mark on the chest. I'm going to do the black glass out of that first layer because it's such an overpowering color. The bird's feet are also included in this first layer, but I'm going to skip that and either skip it all together or pipe it on after the bird's already on the cake like normal. Okay, then our second layer is the yellow because there is something in front of that, so you don't, which is that black part, so you don't want to pipe that first. Um, so that's in the second layer. And the third layer would be the branch because it's kind of behind the belly of the bird, the yellow belly of the bird at the bottom. And then lastly, the tail because that's behind the branch. Because buttercream has a lot of sugar, after it sits for a little bit, it normally hardens and kind of crusts over a little bit. And this is when you're going to take your finger and you're just going to smoosh down your buttercream just a little bit, not enough where you change the shape but enough where you're gonna get out those little air bubbles you'll see when you flip over your uh, image. So essentially you're smushing the buttercream into those air bubbles to fill them in. Also remember, you wanna do this like you're coloring with colored pencils. If you're used to piping, usually you'll do a big swoosh for something and a swoosh for something else. We don't wanna do that. We wanna use this piping bag like a colored pencil so everything's level. Cool thing about using the acetate is if you screw up you can just wipe it right off and redo it. A toothpick is a helpful tool if you want to scrape away a little corner or something like that. So after we're done piping we're going to put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour to let it harden a little bit but don't keep it out too long before putting on the cake because you don't want it to dry out because it's a pretty thin layer of buttercream. If you're liking this video, click the thumbs up button to let me know. And if you'd like to learn how to decorate more cakes and sweets, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, so now take your buttercream image out of the refrigerator. Mine's a little big for my cake, so I'm gonna cut the bottom off a little bit. And then you're gonna wanna put glue on the back. Really, it's just more buttercream, but <laughs> I like to call it glue because it's fresh buttercream that'll stick well to your cake. Since this buttercream is hardened and it's kind of been sitting, it's not going to be very sticky. So put about a quarter inch thick of a glue um, and don't put it right to the edge because you're going to smush it on the cake a little bit. You don't want it showing through. A lot of people just use the color of their cake, but I actually used some of the light blue I had left over so that if it does show through, 
you know, it does get squeezed out the sides. It might look more like a shadow. Let it sit for a little bit so you can smush it level if you need to. Place it on your cake, smush it down a little bit, make sure it's sticking well. And even though it's sticking well, we really want this to be tight up against the cake. So we're gonna wrap acetate around the cake. Now make sure your cake is chilled so you can wrap this acetate and it won't make marks. I use two pieces of acetate, one for the top half of the cake, one for the bottom half, so I make sure I'm holding in my entire image. You're gonna really wanna make sure your cake is level, especially where you put the image. So I actually even use a level um, when I frost the cake and just check it. If not, I have a way to fix it, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. Notice how your buttercream image is actually a mirror image of your original image. So if you want it to face the same way, or especially if you have lettering, you cannot do this because the lettering will be backwards. So after you print your original image, you can flip it over and trace it on the back. So it's actually the opposite of how you want it to look so that when you pipe trace it and you flip it over, it'll be the correct image you want. Uh, the buttercream image is always gonna be the opposite of the original image. Another way you can do it is your computer should have an option where it can flip the image. If your image is going on top of your cake, you don't have to worry about all this wrapping stuff. Gravity will just keep it in place. So now you're gonna to wanna to put your entire cake in the freezer, not the refrigerator, the freezer, for at least an hour so that the buttercream freezes and separates from the acetate so you can peel the acetate right off. You don't wanna put your cake in the freezer too long because of condensation. Now, if you're putting your image on top of your cake, you don't have to freeze your whole cake. You can just freeze the image. Okay, the moment of truth, time to peel it off. It should peel off clean. If it doesn't, maybe your buttercream's not frozen enough. You can put it back in longer. Or maybe there's something about your buttercream that it doesn't freeze well. I always recommend testing out your buttercream with like a quick heart or something, just to make sure that it works. And you can do that without putting it on the cake. Worst case scenario, if some peels off with the acetate, you're still gonna have a nice trace line and you can just pipe it back in and push it down with your finger and it'll look great. There may still be a few air bubbles, so you can use the hot blade technique where you run your blade under hot water and then dry it completely. And then since it's frozen, you can safely use it to smooth out the bubbles. If your black buttercream has cocoa powder in it like mine, be careful because it melts extra fast. I'm gonna add some leaves and flowers. And this is actually a top tier of a really cool tropical themed cake. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time.